welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a fashion reseller online. And today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul. These are probably my uh, most favorite videos to film. I think it's just so fun showing you guys what um, I've got and my dog is going to be playing. So I, hopefully he won't be super annoying. Um, but the first two things I'm going to show you are just some shoes that I actually got from swap.com. Uh, so swap.com is an online thrift store. It's kind of like thread up. You can send your items in and they will resell them for you. Um, but you can also purchase stuff on there. And I had a coupon code for like 40% off. So I got some really nice shoes that are brand new in, um, boxes. <sighs> my dog. Sorry. Um, and then I have a pile uh, just of some stuff that I thrifted today at the thrift store. So I wanted to share with you guys what I have. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you are some lucky boots. These are so cute and I really wish that they were in my size. They are a size A. I don't know if it's focusing, uh, but these are um, like snake skin. So here they are. Aren't they so cute? Oh, I love them. They're open on both sides and kind of a blocked wedged heel. Uh, it does have a peak toe front, and those are a size eight. And then next I have these. Um, I would love some feedback on Sam Edelman because I've picked up Sam Edelman a lot in the past and I just, they don't feel like they sell very well. So um, I'd love to know your feedback. This is also <laughs> a size eight as well. And um, these are, they, they listed them as in like new condition, move dog, <sighs> like new condition. I would say they've probably maybe been tried on. I just, I'm really not seeing um, any marks on those. So those are really nice. Uh, these have like, almost like a leopard print. Do you see that? How the, it's felt like felt or velvet, uh, and it has a design in there. So those are super cute too. Um, those pair are both already listed. So if you're interested in those, all right, so let's move into what I found today at the thrift. Um, so this is a funny story. These are Rachel by Rachel Roy. Um, and I am not a hundred percent certain. Hopefully it'll show you. There we go. Um, 100% certain where these come from. I do know that you can purchase this brand at Anthropology sometimes, um, but I do not know anything about the designer. I've always just heard that um, it is a design designer item, so usually pretty good quality. However, there's a difference between Rachel by Rachel Roy and then just Rachel Roy. I know Rachel Roy is like, it's kind of like Michael Kors. There's Michael Kors, which is the designer, and then there's Michael by Michael Kors, which is like the cheaper version. So same thing with these. So these are, these are definitely the cheaper version, but they're in great condition. They're super cute on. Um, when I list these, I'm going to model them because they look so cute on. They're just little flats but they have really cool detail on front part with the different um, metals and stuff. And they're like a gr dark gray charcoal with um, metallic. And these are size eight as well. So whoever has a size eight, you are good to go on shoes. All right, so let's get into some of the clothing. Uh, this item is the brand Lucy. I've heard great things about Lucy uh, workout clothes that they're very good quality. Um, I've only sold a few of their items and honestly they haven't sold quickly, but I figured I'd give this one a try. It's, um, long sleeve, which is a plus. It's got like a V-neck with this like thick material here along the collar. Um, and I thought it'd be good just to pop over like a tank top, uh, heading to workout. And it is a size medium. I will say I found some uh, just light pilling under the armpit, which is not uncommon when you're purchasing these things used. So I'm going to use my sweater shaver on that and it will be ready to go. So there's that. Next is this. Now, really quick, I found quite a few items that either they're not great brands, but they're really cute and on trend, or they're brands that I don't know anything about. So I need your help. If you guys can comment down below on these items, if you happen to recognize them, super helpful. Uh, this is going to be an item I do know doesn't sell well, but I still couldn't pass on it. Um, so the brand is Soho by New York and company. So I think Soho is like New York and companies, um, like younger, trendier line. So it's more for like the young adults. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a size large, but look at how cute. So it's Navy and then it has metallic threads all throughout. 
Uh, it also has metallic buttons and then it laces up in the front. And then it's got this severe like high-low hem. Um, and of course it's going to be tighter around the waist. Now it does need to be laundered. There's like where people tried them on, tried it on, there's deodorant marks. But I just was thinking for New Year's, that is so cute. And you know, New Year's it's cold, especially where we live in East Tennessee. And so having long sleeves on is kind of a good idea. I don't know. I just thought it was super cute with the metallic thread. So I picked that up. I'm going to give it a try. Sometimes unique things, you know, surprise you because they do well. Uh, speaking of unique, th unique things, I purchased this not knowing anything about the brand. So it's Coco and Jameson, which I have heard of. So I was happy to, you know, have recognized that. Um, but I did not know anything about it. And when I was in the thrift store, I did not have uh, cell reception or I didn't have data. So um, I was kind of just taking a risk. But look at how cool it is. It's like this cutout eyelet and it's also suede. So hopefully you can kind of see. It's fake, but it's that suede material. Um, the sleeves do not have the cutout, but they do have where you can roll them up to make them shorter. But I just thought, like, what a cool shirt or blouse. I've never seen one quite like it with um, the cutout. So after some research, I found out this came from Buckle, and um, it is kind of a current thing. I think they did clearance it out, so it's sold out online. But uh, I want to say it's probably from the fall, either this year or last year, and they've clearance it out. So it's not online anymore. Um, and what size was that? Large. Size large. So that's pretty cute. Alrighty, next is this. This is a 100% wool sweater, and it's this beautiful, like, deep teal or deep green color. They have these um, shoulder cutouts, and it's Lafayette. 148. I'm always worried I'm pronouncing that wrong. So comment below if I am Lafayette 148. Um, this is generally a pretty pricey brand. Uh, it's sold at places like Bloomingdale's and um, I don't have Bloomingdale's here so I don't see it very often so I was pretty excited to find it. But yeah 100% wool and it is in new condition. This does not look to have even been washed or laundered or anything. So it is a size small but that is really really cute and um doesn't have that itchy feel like sometimes wool feels itchy it doesn't feel like that so here's that all right this is a brand i do need help uh, i picked this up based on style alone so look at how freaking cute this is like it has it's like a tunic length it's striped and then it has this really pretty print and i don't know how to describe that um other than it's just printed but the brand is nurture there we go. Um, and here's the back. And then the front has this keyhole opening. And um, I just couldn't pass it up. It's a size medium. And I just thought it was so unique. Okay, so next is this brand. This is um, pretty sure sold at just places like um, JCPenney. So the brand is Rocks and Indigo. But I thought it was on trend. Super cute. So it's like an ivory, or it might just be white. I don't know, white with a gold embroidery along like the back and along the front. And then of course, down here on the sleeves, they do button down here. And then the back has like that peplum waist at the bottom. So, and the tassels I thought were so cool and unique looking. So I had to give it a try. I know it's not a brand that probably sells for a lot, but, um, I just wanted to give it a try because I thought it was beautiful. Sometimes you just pick up things because you like it. And honestly, I want to sell things in my closet that I would wear just because that's how I want my closet to be. I definitely like the boho, festival, flowy type items um, and floral. Floral, I'm a sucker for floral. Um, and so I did pick this up. But this brand, Chelsea and Theodore, I could not find much about it online. Uh, I did find a stock photo, however, but um, hopefully it's something. It's not going to be uh, super pricey. It doesn't feel like it's anything super pricey, but I just thought this print was beautiful. Uh, the sleeves have the um, button, but it does have a severe high-low waist and then almost like a fake wrap here at the bottom. So yeah, I just thought that was beautiful, 100% polyester, and it feels brand new. Like, I don't even think that person wore that. 
All right, last but not least is this. This is not a brand I typically pick up at all because this is probably the lowest. Like, um, Ralph Lauren has different tiers of uh, clothing lines. There's like the lowest, which is like the more cheap brands, and then up all the way up to, I think, purple is the best color. So the tag is green. Um, I think purple is the highest. I could be wrong, but there is different tiers, and this is probably the lowest because I usually pass anytime I see the uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren green tag. However, this one was new with tag and it retailed for $145. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try and it is definitely something I would wear. So, um, super cute. I guess it's like a baby doll type, um, top, but it has kind of a Peter Pan high neckline with this tassel. And then it looks like three quarter length sleeves with elastic right here. Um, and it is lined. There is a liner of that's white right underneath it. So that's really nice. Obviously it's a little bit off season. You'd probably get this in the spring or the summer, but you know what? I think it's beautiful. So we're going to see how it does. All right. So that is the end of my thrift haul. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you can help me on some of these brands, because like I said, I don't know about half of that stuff and I need help. You guys are my best helpers when it comes to finding out brands. So um, definitely comment down below if you can help me out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.